Alright, and we're back. Wasn't paying attention to the music and all of a sudden things just started spawning around me, so... No! Ah! Damn it. Ah. Seriously? Alright, let's fall back a bit. No, no, no. Bad juju. Bad people. Very bad. Alright. My fishing area. I have nothing. Alright. I was going to put a campfire down. I can't. Yay. I can kill things for hearts, right? Oh, I seem to be healing relatively fast, so... I do have healing potions this time, at least. And I got an extra regen. Uh... Alright, good enough. Let's go back. Oh, look, heart. Makes it easier, too. Awesome. Alright. Oh, look, camper. <laughs> Put that down right here. Alright. Alright, where are you jerks at? Okay, the music's changed, but they're not showing up. There we go. Thank you. Right in the face. Just what I wanted. Ah. That was... That was great. Nebula floater, predictor, brain suckler. Noise. Steampunk. Rings and spark boots, and I'm gonna take a second here. Well, more than a second, probably. I'm gonna talk to Nogs. I'm gonna see if I can get some happy decent modifiers. Holy crap! At how expensive they are to reforge. Fleeting, rash, fleeting, angry, hard, angry, violent, guarding. Okay, I'm guarding. I'll take menacing for now, I guess. What other choice do I have, right? And I have no recall potion here. Is it in this chest? Uh, no. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Let's try not to die horribly. Alright. Why couldn't it be closer? Why did I have to decide I'm on a medium sized world? Uh, why, why, why? So many questions. So, no, so little answers. Whee! Yeah, Steampunk Wings actually have a really good flight time to them. Oh, barely missed that platform. Ow! Holy! 114 damage. Because that guy's a douche. Alright. Nope, not quite. There it is. Alright. Scoop. Run. Cell phone. Alright. Ah. Uh. Okay, and there we go. Oh, I still had potions left on me anyway. That's cool, I guess. Hmm. I 
like him. He's cute. Uh, I'm just going to pitch the acorns. I don't need them. Alright, we good? Yeah, we're good. Huzzah! And... Well, I think I'll see you guys when I get there, so...
Well, uh, yeah. Well, that was the last one of those. So now it's going to be the Moon Lord. And actually, let's see. Can I make anything cool out of the Nebula stuff? Nebula Blaze. From Orion's belt to the palm of your hand. And the Nebula Arcanum. Conjures masses. Conjure masses of astral energy to chase down your foes. Hmm. Remember the monolith. Well, I'm not geared up at all for magic stuff, so... And odds are I'd end up just slaughtering myself trying to, uh... Switch between weapons, pretty much. Yep, uh, let's go grab some potions. Put up as much of a fight as we can, I think. Because I think that's... Uh, the way I'm feeling right now, <laughs> with how I've been doing against the model or the uh, the towers, I don't need Nido. I think that's about about the best case scenario is just fight as long as possible before we die. I already got an endurance regen though. Food. I need. I made a bunch of food. Where did I put it at? Oh, hell. I made... Yeah, I had a bunch of uh, cooked fish. But where did I end up putting that at? I don't really have time to go digging through all my chests. Now, do I? Um... Ten. Okay. Now, down here. Open that. Pumpkin pie. And... Let's head to the arena real quick. I think I still have it running. Still have the timer running anyway. Pop some of those mushrooms off, I guess. Because why not? Yep, I do. Sweet. Well, in this case... Ah! Oh, hell. Alright, well... I was going for, uh... Going to try to uh, use some of the stationary buff things I have. Ow, 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 that was. That was a bad touch. That was a very bad touch. It's. It is on, right? Yeah, it is on. Okay, good. Ow. Okay. Heal. Alright. What can I do? What can I do? Um, yeah. <laughs> Get freaked out by this thing. And I'm dead. And he's gone. Phantasmal Death Ray, huh? Huh. Not horrible, I guess. I don't know what that was that just despawned up there. I think that may have been him, but... Um... Pair of wings so we can get our stuff back. <laughs> uh... Yes, I'm going to have to think of a better strategy to take him out than sheer blind panic. That that did not work out for me. That did not work out for me at all. I think that's just better thing. Apparently there's a mimic over here. stuff. Alright. See, I'm gonna cut here and patch everything together and then try to decide what the hell I'm gonna do next. I mean, I do have some cool weapons out of the deal. But... 
Yeah, I need to figure out a way to take this guy out that's going to uh, be effective in expert mode. Because, as we saw, the full-out blind panic just just doesn't cut it. Actually, there we go. I like the look of the barrier platform, but the steampunk wings outperform it by a considerable amount, actually, so... That's the one I'm going to be using, I think. Uh, crap, what was my last accessory? Oh, boots. There we go. Yep, I did get the eruption, but I am already getting tired of the sound. Ah, uh, dang it, Relogic. Bam, 328 combined. So, yep, um, I'll cut and come back probably when something interesting happens, but uh, I'm going to do some farming, I think. Some nice, relaxing farming. Make some potions and so on and so forth. So, well, I'll see you guys then. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again. And the main reason I'm here... Oh, well. Yeah, I don't have to worry about them anymore. There we go. Temple Raider. It was supposed to happen when I unlocked the door. It didn't. So, I said, oh, I'm just going to come break a lizard block, right? Uh, let's get some of this anyway. Since we're here. <laughs> uh, basically, one click and he's dead. I like that. Solar eruption. It still gets a little, uh... What's word? Annoying, I guess, in the long term. But you can't argue with the results. I mean, things just get point and click, and things die. So yeah, definitely can't really argue with results like that. There we go. And got what I wanted, so gonna take off. And one thing I have done is I have actually gone through and edited my character, so it's now softcore. It was a lot more fun, I should say, uh, pre-hard mode. Actually, even for a while in, you know, the beginning of hard mode was great. A lot of fun. It quit being fun whenever, basically, it... The game starts revolving around me going out, dying, and then spending hours trying to get my stuff back. So, it was a good run. I'm done with it now. Oh, why am I trying to stack potions down here? Should be trying to put them up here. I don't have any swiftness. Not thorns, yeah, I don't really keep those. Recall. <laughs> Alright, and let's see blocks. There we go. And I'm just going to sell those. Ah, now I'll keep them. Why not? What was I? I've just been selling the life roots off because you can't really do anything with them. It'd be cool if there was some sort of like crafting recipe or something with them afterwards, but after you get to max, that's kind of it. So I've done a lot of boss, boss farming. Boss farming, yeah. Boss farming. And I actually did a pumpkin moon off camera. Did surprisingly well at it, actually. I was surprised. I got the achievement for it, level 15, or wave 15. <clears throat> kind of goes to show you how overpowered the eruption and vampire knives are. Yeah, I've got... I ended up with so many trophies. I just kept three of each and I sold the rest. It was just way too much. You see pirates, I could fit them again. I don't see much of a point. Why? At this point in time, I'm up to like 12, 13 solar eclipses now. And I still haven't been able to get that stupid Martian probe to show up. It's one of the reasons I got that achievement. Is I was, Maybe that was something? Because it's supposed to be a post golem thing, yeah. Is it not showing up because it didn't beat Golem 
in the temple? I don't know. So, I was like, well, I tried just about everything. I might actually have to go to a different world to fight the stupid things. Which kind of sucks, because this is the only expert world I have in hard mode. I don't have expert mode only drops, but I would lose an accessory slot. Item drop rate is a lot lower. So, I'd rather not do that. I'd rather fight them here if I can, but I don't know if that's going to be possible or not. So, that was just, yeah, kind of a quick catch-up and what's been going on. That's about it, really. Although it's kind of funny. I've got 78 hours on this character so far. So, yeah, maybe I'm playing Terraria a little too much. Oh well. Is there such a thing? I don't even want to know how much that time though was spent with me just trying to get my stuff back. I really don't. So yep, that death runs are no longer going to be a thing, so rejoice for that. No longer going to be half the episode of me trying to get my stuff back. And let's see, I did kind of upgrade my little arena a bit. Heart and Star Statue still. Spears, Spiky Ball Traps, Super Dart Traps, and some Flame Traps. So, it actually tends to do a pretty decent job. It's Expert Mode, so what if you do? Don't touch the Spiky Balls. Do over 100 damage with Beetle Armor on. Just, it's not, and oh, I just, that was another Pinky. I didn't even notice. Cool. Well, apparently he's been kicking ass. That's what these little spores here are from. It's from him. He fires off a cloud of them. And they uh, tend to wreck face, if anything. is unlucky enough to actually hit them. Yep, I think that's going to be kind of it for now. I mean... Martians aren't showing up, and I want to get them done. Or at least take them on once. Before I go after the Moon Lord again. So it's like... I could do Duke Fishron. Uh, I don't feel like doing that right this second. I don't have like an arena-ish prepared for him anymore. I Before 1-3, with the equipment I have, I would just, you know, stay just out of reach and just wail on him. But now you have to stay in the ocean or he enrages. Faster, hits harder, all that fun stuff. So yeah, I don't want to do that. Yep. So yep, yeah, uh, like I said, it's a little kind of, this is what's going on. And I shall see you guys whenever something interesting actually happens.